Hand up. First off, Mr. Majors, I want to thank you for signing my box to me and my little girls. You're welcome. Uh, thank you very much. And I, I was, as I was watching the set, I realized that I, I, I'm not making the order exactly right, but in, I think it was the fourth season, you had a string of very memorable and also, mm -hmm. I would think, challenging episodes. For almost back to back, you had the return of Big Foot Two Parter, okay. you had the Bionic Boy, you had the Thunderbird, those were both two hour movies or long episodes. And then you had the three part kill Oscar crossover <laughs> almost back to back. And I was wondering if you recall that time period and was that as challenging and busy, busier than usual for you than, as we might expect? Well, um, <clears throat> seemed like most of the series I've done have been action packed. And I don't ever want to do another show with the word the in front of it. <laughs> <laughs> You know, the fall guys, six men, because you're in every shot, as Richard can tell you. And he's in his nice little office, you know. <laughs> but uh, that's uh, when we finally finished, and he said, you want to do a TV movie, a two-hour movie? I said, no. <laughs> but he talked me into doing three more. And then after that, I, I was trying to get rid of the Steve Austin characterization, you know, to be labeled with that forever, which is why we're here, I guess. <laughs> I was asked to do uh, The Fall Guy, which I thought that would be great because if it's, a, if it's a, any success at all, they'll forget Six Mill and uh, it'll help. So uh, five years of that, and they even wanted to go and do more, but I had worn my body out after five years and said, I, I kind of have to take a break. And, but it's still Six Mill is... Uh, show amazing just amazing there's just one final thing I'd like to say the Vietnam War had just ended everybody was poor everybody hated the whole thing and this is a time when this movie came along and uh, when it came along they had us on Friday night. And then uh, just a simple uh, comedian knocked us off after the third show. So uh, the studio, I don't know how, whether you had anything to do with it, but they put us on Sunday night at 8 o'clock. Now, how about that? I got a phone call on the second week saying, Rich, it's terrific. We're number one. <laughs> number one. And we were for all that time. And this, that when they started seeing this and watching what he was doing, uh, they, they all said, we're, we're watching at 8 o'clock on Sunday night, the whole country. And they all said, There's, there, there, we have something that we didn't have before. We've got a hero. <laughs> Well, you know, we're, we're really grateful that uh, we brought attention to bionics because, as you know, as you can tell from today, how far they've advanced in their technology and helping our wounded warriors and all the people who need prosthetics and stuff. That they're just really getting phenomenal, and it's it's still a long way to go. It's going to be it's going to be something. So we're just proud to have been able to help that along. Yeah. Wow. Let's try to keep it going. So what you guys see? Mr. Nick Majors. Don't forget to start on the table. Get some pictures, get some autographs, get some more stories. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Nick Majors.